Do you like watermelons? I mean, really, who doesn't? Do you ever think about the people that are growing them? Well, today, today we've got Whitney Mitchell DeWitt. Whitney, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you know all about them, don't you? A few things, yeah. Yeah. How many do you think you grow a year? Oh, as many as we can sell. Yeah. More than a dozen, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you are up from uh, Tampico. Mm -hmm. So for the people in Peoria that might know, know where that is, where's Tampico? Uh, about an hour and a half north of here, uh, 15 minutes south of Sterling, Rock Falls area. Okay. Does Tampico have a school still? Uh, we do. We have an elementary school there. Then where, like high school, where do you go? Uh, Prophetstown. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> it used to be uh, Manless Tampico, but that was that was, that a, was few quite a few years ago. ago yeah, wasn't it? Yep. Okay. Yep. You went to Prophetstown. I did. Okay. What's their mascot? Uh, it it was a prophet. That's a pretty hot topic these days. So oh, we. I didn't know we were getting into the weeds already. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> the producers, I was like, ah, who we, are you uh, now? We co-op with Erie for almost all sports, so we're the Panthers now. The Prophetstown Erie Panthers. Yep. I went to Bradford, we were the Panthers. Yeah. Made no sense, because there's no yeah. Panthers, but now you guys are doing yes. this thing. <laughs> yes, so, so yes, I was a Prophet, but uh, they are now Panthers now. Yeah. You grew up on a farm? I did. What kind of farm? Uh, we raised corn, soybeans, um, seed corn, melons. Mm -hmm. Um, I've raised pumpkins since I was uh, little, um, kind of getting into green beans the past couple years, some specialty crops, so yeah. So not so much the typical farmers, what everybody would think, just corn and soybeans, you yeah. guys a little more diversified. We are, yep. So you, I mean, growing up, I mean, that's, that's what you did, you were always kind of involved with it? Uh, yeah, I... I always, I remember helping, um, but my parents were always very good about letting me be a kid. Oh, um, wasn't slave labor. You no. Know, but no. It was, you were always busy. Yes, <laughs> yes. No, I get it, yeah. You're, you're supposed to go out and weed the pumpkins, but if like you got caught chasing butterflies, they, <laughs> you weren't getting spanked that yes, type of thing. Yes, yes. Gotcha. You played sports I in did. high school? What'd you play? Uh, volleyball, basketball, and I ran track. What'd you run? Uh, I started out in the hurdles until I got hurt, um, and then went. Did you trip over a hurdle? I did. <laughs> yeah. I did. They're tall. They are. Yeah. They are, but um, <laughs> yes. Um, so then I ended up running like the 800 four by eight. So. Okay. Were you fast? Uh, I would say I gravitated towards volleyball and basketball yeah. rather than track. So. I gravitated towards the refrigerator myself. Yeah. <laughs> I, I threw discus. Does that count for something? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, most definitely. Okay. <laughs> then went on to St. Ambrose and yep. uh, Davenport, right? I did. Yep. I uh, had a little trouble leaving uh, the farm when I was getting ready to go to college. Why? Um, I don't know. Things, uh, things in life had been going pretty good, and so I thought if I just stayed right where I was that life would continue, and... Um, I remember about a week before I was getting ready to go, my, I did, I did not want to leave. You I were mean, comfortable. Yes. Okay. And my dad asked me, he goes, what are you going to do if you stay here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Farm help you. Uh, but I ended up going and it was probably the best four years of my life. Yeah. So I'm very familiar with St. Ambrose. All five of my sisters went there and I will say, uh, it's, it is not a big school. No. It's not like no. you're going off into the big city and yeah. all that. That probably helped, didn't it? It did. We, we had went and looked at different colleges. Um, I almost played volleyball out at Nebraska Wesleyan. Oh, yeah? Um, we went out there, um, went down to Western Illinois. Mm -hmm. um, and I knew I didn't want to be too far, yeah. and I didn't want it to be too big. So, it, what's, that's less than an hour, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's not yep. bad. So. Okay. What'd you study? When I started going down there, um, again, 18 year old kid, I don't have a clue what I want to do. Yeah. Um, but for some reason, I had always enjoyed learning about prisons and everything. 
I know, crazy. Okay. <laughs> um, Says a lot. I don't remember seeing that on the cards. <laughs> Visited a lot of prisons. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I went to school. I was going to major in psychology, um, kind of go the psychiatrist route. Um, oh, you and, like to figure out people. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of what I was leaning towards. And then I found out to do what I really wanted to do, um, I had to have a doctorate. So I said... Which is what, another four years? Yeah. Yeah. Because you have to be able to administer medicine, which... So anyways, I'm like, that's not going to work. Okay. Um, so I switched to uh, management and finance. Okay. I figured that was broad enough that I could... That's a hard switch. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not like going from yeah. econ to ag econ. That's a... Yeah. Whew. Okay. Yeah. So nope, I uh, graduated in... Uh, 2011 with a double major in management and finance and a minor in econ. Oh, so you're smart. Mm. <laughs> that must, <laughs> must be nice. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about that. But What did you do after school then? Um, so while I was in college on the summers, I actually um, interned at Farmers National Bank in Prophetstown. unsolicited plug oh <laughs> yeah unless they're gonna give us something no 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 okay um so yes i worked at a bank and then um after i left there i went to work at an insurance agency but was the whole plan to always go back to the farm or did that evolve later in life i mean i think i always knew it in at some point that that's where I wanted to end up. Um, but actually being there day in and day out, my dad had always made it very clear that I couldn't just stay there. I couldn't just graduate from college and come back and yeah. expect to work there. And he, he really wanted me to go out, get life experience, learn something else because yeah. I mean farming isn't guaranteed um, no. so I I got that in the the banking industry the insurance world yeah. um, and I, I mean I still use all of those things to this day and I'm glad that I have them um, so it, it, it took some time to yeah there were a lot of pieces that played into it that that I needed to do first I guess yeah. I don't think that's unusual though mm -hmm. I think a lot of farm kids their parents want them to go do something yeah. else, even though maybe it would be the easiest yeah. if they came back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell me about uh, your first 35 acres then. Um, so it's one of those things where if you hand everything to the kid at once, mm -hmm. I feel like it maybe doesn't always have the best outcome. No, a lot of times it doesn't. Yeah. yeah. And as much as my dad would hate to admit it, he is, he is a very good teacher. He, um, he has a lot of knowledge in what he does, mm -hmm. um, mostly because he's been doing it for 50 some years. I met your dad, he's, yes. a, he's a character, isn't he? He is, yeah. he is, yes, <laughs> yes. He has a one of a kind personality. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I think he, um, we started with the 35 acres and I mean, I remember, what do you, what do you plant? What do you, all of the questions that come with it. I mean, did you um, ask for that though, or mm -mm. Did, was it offered? No, it was offered. Okay. He, more of an opportunity. Would it be yeah. something that I would be interested in? Yeah. And. Were you excited or nervous? Nervous. Yeah. Um, kind of like be, this show. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, you just, you don't wanna, you've seen what he's done with it his whole life mm -hmm. and you don't want to disappoint him. You don't want to make a mistake. And I mean, obviously it was his ground. So losing it wasn't, but. This was your family's ground then? It was. Okay. Yep. Which I, it's, it's very hard to describe. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you and I as farmers kind of know what mm -hmm. that means, but kind of describe it to other people. Yeah. That's uh, an honor. Yes. I mean, yes. it's just not an opportunity, but yes. for him to give up in mm -hmm. a sense 35 acres yep. to his daughter is uh it, that's a big deal yeah and especially in this day and age i mean you don't you don't just decide you want to start farming one day mm -hmm. i mean it's 
everything is so expensive these days. Um, to get your hand on um, on farm ground is, I mean, even farming, it's it's hard to do. Yeah. And, and just with the economy the way that it is. And so, yes, to be given an opportunity, I mean, very grateful. And then, um, I mean, I've obviously grown since then, mm -hmm. um, but it's, you can't be handed a few thousand acres and say, make decisions on all of this. I mean, it was nice to learn on a smaller scale. Um, and so, yeah, it's just, it's grown from there. And just like anything, I feel like you need to start at the bottom and, and work your way up. And what'd then you, you, what'd you grow? Uh, I had corn the first year. Okay. Yeah. That's remarkably unexciting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, what I mean, it's evolved into pumpkins, though, correct? Uh, yes. So when I was um, five, six years old, um, my grandpa, who started this whole, mm -hmm. I mean, obviously he was before my dad. So, I mean, we give all the credit, credit to him. Mm -hmm. um, so we raised melons also. Um, like I said, the watermelon and cantaloupe. And so... Yes, I had my 35 acres, but my dad maybe let me slide my pumpkins in next to the melons. Uh, oh, I got you. So, um, well, and you, this is Peoria audience. Yeah. If you lived up in your area, mm -hmm. I mean, you guys are well known mm -hmm. as like the melon. Correct. I don't know even. I don't know you know who to compare you to around here, but like if you lived up in that area, I'd say Tanners. Yeah. I mean, I feel like everybody down here knows um, Tanners. Mm -hmm. It's kind of, a, and we are by no means as large as tanners. Do you have goats? No, no, Yet. no, you can, no goats. <laughs> no, you can come get your cantaloupe and watermelon and <laughs> pumpkins later on, but that's about the extent of it. <laughs> so we got sunflowers here. Tell me the story behind those. Um, when I was younger, um, my dad has, so we're big hunters also. Mm -hmm. It occupies our time during the winter. What do you hunt? Uh, doves oh. out of the sun fields and or sunflower fields and um and then during the winter um duck and geese so oh the feathers the, yeah. yep you ever hunt that sasquatch up there <laughs> no it's where he lives right I am geneseo possibly. north of geneseo yeah. okay anyway um so yeah so my dad has always had a sunflower field mm -hmm. um and like i said we've we dove hunted out of it as i was growing up and then uh, my husband comes into the picture. Where'd you meet him? Uh, at a bar? Uh, no, no. He, uh, I like, bar. I like to bar. give him a hard time that he. Uh, Profits he, down bar. He, uh, he knew I was on the radar before I knew him. He's, what do you mean the radar? He's a few years younger than me. Oh. And Is it what he, a cougars? That's what they call I guess, you? Yeah. I guess. And uh, yeah, the, uh, the first time he texts me, <laughs> the first time he texts me, I'm like, okay, first of all, I don't even know who this kid is. Kid? And, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, but anyways. Uh, he just texts you out of nowhere? Uh, our yeah, we're not letting this story go. <laughs> I'm, I'm invested now. Yes. Our families knew one another. Okay. And um, the bank that I worked at was local in Prophetstown. And so he would come through there, yeah. through the drive up. And so I always give him a hard time that he, that he stalked me before. Uh... I'd like to deposit this dollar <laughs> yeah. into my account. Yeah. <laughs> Is Whitney working? Yeah. So, and so anyways, yeah. So yeah, I can't deny love. That's, yes. basically, that's the end of it. Yes, yeah. yes. And uh, so as I said, I mean, sunflowers have always, my dad has <laughs> oh, always <yeah. laughs> had them. Um, and uh. so when we were trying to decide where we were going to get married, um, I wanted to get married in a sunflower field. Okay. And so obviously my dad having the... bees? That kid was a problem that we didn't um, consider, but yes. Anybody get stung? No, it's no. It's good luck for yeah. a wedding if somebody gets yeah. Um, anaphylactic, what's it called? <laughs> Nobody died anyway no, at your wedding. No, nope. okay. and so yeah, so the backdrop of our wedding was, uh, was a sunflower field. Which is beautiful. Yes. Yeah, it's yep. gorgeous. So.
So you got married, uh, then after your first kid, you, is that when you went to the farm full time? Yes, I, so we had, um, yeah, so I started the 35 acres. Mm -hmm. um, my husband come into the picture. We, uh, we purchased our first farm together. Nice, um, that's a big deal. Yes, yes, um, and so, we continue on. We're raising our pumpkins. A lot of is it, a lot of it is on uh, nights and weekends, um, and you throw a kid into the mix, and that complicates things. They mess everything up. Yes, yeah. and so we basically had the discussion that, um, I mean, we could not keep going how we were. Um, something something had to change. Was he working full time? He wasn't yet. Okay. Um, he was he was working full time um, as a mechanic over in Prophetstown. Um, so we both had our own full time jobs. Plus the farm. Plus the farm. Plus the kid. And now a now a kid. And so that doesn't work too well. No, no. <laughs> there is only only so much time in the day. And so I make the decision that, or we make the decision, I should say that um, that I'm going to come back to the farm full time. Mm -hmm. So farming, as you know, is basically April through October. And so my dad's biggest concern was, what are you going to do during the winter? Because the winter months can be... Basically nothing, Dad. Yes. That's what yeah. we do. Yeah. And um, I am not one that I can sit home and do nothing. Shocker. I know. And uh, <laughs> so the, the insurance company that I, um, I had left full time... Um, they were gracious enough to let me come back during the winter mm -hmm. because really again that's yes cool. um, because again farmers don't want to talk about their insurance April through October. Farmers um, don't want to talk no. about insurance ever. I know. Yeah. More likely during the winter, and then you also have your crop insurance. Yeah. Um, which is kind of what I what I'm more geared towards now. You sell that. It's so confusing. It is. Yeah. It is. Um, but uh, um, so yeah. So I had the opportunity that I'll go back there a few days during the week and help them, and Works then um, actually, yeah. Now I leave there and then start getting ready for farming. Got two kids. So t okay, let's get to the farm. So if somebody's never been to Mitchell Mellons, mm -hmm. they drive up. Tell me what they're going to be seeing. Um, so it has always been uh, where my grandma and grandpa, um, when they moved up here, because mm -hmm. um, we everybody or they my dad's family is originally from Manitou, um, which is about an hour south of Peoria. I thought it was in Canada. <laughs> no, it's Manitoba. Manitoba, yep. It's, it's a joke. It's Manitoba. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, so yeah, it has always been um, at the home farm there. Mm -hmm. Um, so you can pull in and uh, we have our stand there that you can, um, there's always somebody there to help you. Um, there's always somebody manning like a bunch of, Yes. you're selling watermelons. Cantaloupe. Tell me about the thing you gave us when uh, we filmed the TV. The, the sensation. That was, I've never had one of those before. <laughs> it, uh, we've been raising them for probably almost 10 years now. They're sensation? Sensations, yeah. Okay. And uh, they're a little bit sweeter than a cantaloupe. They're white on the inside. So, yeah. Did you, did you make them? Did you breed them? Nope. It's just a different variety of seed. Um, How come we don't see those? Those were unbelievably good. They, uh, they don't ship as well as your typical cantaloupe. Oh, I um, gotcha. They, uh, they have a softer skin on them. And uh, so, yeah, we'd, you got to come see us if you want those. I mean, do people know? Do they, is it a big seller? It is, it is. Yeah. The, uh, the first year that we had them, um, they were different, so people don't want them. Um, yeah. But then the next year, once they, once they tried them. Did you uh, have to give some away? We did. Uh, we did. That ain't cool. Yeah. And then they were <laughs> like, yeah, that they really enjoyed them. So, and they have done nothing but grow since then. So, do you, uh, how do you know what to grow? Do you really just have to kind of look at the past year sales and kind of gauge by it's, then? It's hard to even base it off the past years because, I mean, weather comes into play. Yeah. Um, I mean, weather is what we fight the most with anything. Yeah. Um, and it's so, so we, dumb. It is. It is. 
Um, so, I mean, we, we kind of gauge um, each year how much we, how many acres we grow of each. And I mean, we, we pretty much stick to that. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and my dad has always said that it is, I mean, you can grow thousands, but unless you can get rid of them, I yeah. mean, it, it really does you, does you no good. Well, so. that didn't work. I mean, tell us, uh, explain to us how a, a watermelon combine works. <laughs> uh, well, it's about a uh, high school <laughs> kid age and... Uh, this, I mean, it's physical. It is, yeah. it is. And, and the biggest thing is everybody thinks that melon season is just the month of August. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd say within the next two weeks, we'll start planting them in the greenhouse. Really? Um, it's, what is today? It's like the March. Yeah. Yeah, it's yep. early. Usually, usually the beginning of April, we, uh, we start planting them in the greenhouse. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, put them out in the field. Usually Mother's Day weekend is our, is our big weekend um, to, to plant the plants out in the field. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah. So you're not planting seeds. Mm -mm. Oh, they're tra oh, transplants. You yep. do like work, don't yes. you? Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, How many people do you employ? Um, so obviously my dad, mm -hmm. um, Mike Kelly, um, he has worked with my dad for, it's probably been almost 30 years he's been around. Um, and then there's a couple of my dad's buddies that come back. Uh, they have now retired, um, but from their actual jobs, but for some reason still come back and help during melon well, season. It's because I've been to your farm yep. and it was early and they're taking their morning break yeah. and the, your dad's in there yep. telling yep. the stories. Oh they? yeah. So, <laughs> yep. And then, um, uh, obviously my husband is back now. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, his brother. So my brother-in-law, he helps full time now. Yeah. Um, and which then, employee do you like the least? My husband. <laughs> Usually people don't answer that question, <laughs> but you were, you were just no, like that. I'm just kidding. I, uh, I don't, I don't know if you are. No, I, I, uh, I thoroughly enjoy, I mean, you know, working with your spouse. It's, it's, it's uh, no, no bueno. Why are you <laughs> winking at me? <laughs> it's, uh, I really do enjoy it. Yeah. He, uh, so I was on the farm, I think two years, uh, before he came back. And again, he started helping my dad more. Mm -hmm. And so he would go and be mechanic in the morning farmer in the afternoon, farmer in tonight. And I mean, we had a, a two year old at this point. Yeah. And, um, was he a farmer, farm kid? Uh, not really. He um, just likes to work. Yes. Yes. Well, you kind of have to, if you're going to marry yes. into your family. Yeah. I always, uh, give him a hard time that why would anybody want to marry me? Cause then they know they're going to have to pick melons for the rest of their exactly. life. Exactly. Yeah. But now is your dad, was he, is he younger than your mom? Um, I didn't know if it was a trend in your family. So, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. All right. <laughs> if people want to find your place on social media or that, where do they go? Uh, so we're on Facebook, mm -hmm. um, the Mitchell Mellons page. Uh, my stepmom pretty much does all the behind the scene things with that. Um, and yeah, it does a very good job of, of broadcasting everything out there. Mm -hmm. So. M-I-T-C-H-E-L-L. -L. Correct. Yeah. Yep. In uh, Tampico, Illinois. We had you on the our other show where we actually took the cameras up there. Uh, everybody seems like they enjoy what they do. And I think yep. that says a lot about the people running the farm. Because yep. if you had a bunch of miserable people running around yep. in that, you could you could kind of tell. So yep. I enjoyed the visit up there. Yep. And I think everybody, if you're swinging by that area, mm -hmm. definitely get one of the sensations yep. for sure. Yeah. And um, melon season is definitely one of the toughest months. Yeah. Um, because it is seven days a week. Um, and with the kids being as small as they are, I mean, it's hard for them to come there because there are cars moving all the time. There are tractors coming in and out. And yeah. I mean, so be they, careful if you show up. Yes. Yeah. And so it's just, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whitney Mitchell DeWitt, thank you for coming to the Peoria. Really appreciate it and really appreciate uh, everything that you do for agriculture. Yep. Thank you. Everybody else, we'll catch you next week. Thank you.